who are unfamiliar with lion cubs and who haven't are not sure what Aqua's referring to, lion cubs make this adorable sort of ow, ow sound. Don't want to make it too loudly because obviously I don't want to distract them or impact them in any way. It seems as though it might be time to settle down for now. Have a little bit of rest, of a rest in the sand after all of that playing. As mum watches on indulgently. Aretas. You're saying that these are your first lion cubs and that they have stolen your heart. Well, I don't think you're alone. I think that I'm so glad that we could bring this to all of you. We could share this moment with all of you watching across the world. You know, you really, you can't help but <laughs> fall in love with them. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yummy. A little bit of elephant dung first thing in the morning. Yeah, how awesome is that? <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> I want it. I want that dung. This is so amazing, really, truly. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes, absolutely. While we watch our lion cubs play, and we compare them to our leopard cubs that we've been watching and I agree with you totally I do think that lion cubs play more than leopard cubs I know that leopard cubs do play but I think lion cubs play more and I think that is because the li leopards are destined to be solitary versus the lions which are destined to be social cats and who knows what lies in these clubs' futures. Imagine if it's a group of three males. <laughs> With the Birmingham and Nkuhuma genetics. The Nkuhumas are big lionesses. A coalition of three males would be a powerful thing. Or it might be three... F oh, who knows, I'm speculating now. I can't help it. This is just too awesome for words. Guys, I just need to get onto the Game Drive channel. As I said, there are lots of people that would like to enjoy this moment. And as you can see, it's having no impact on the behavior of the cubs or the mom. Henry for Jamie. Uh, you are on standby one for the Zangala. Copy that. Uh, Tax is here. It is a two vehicle lock because it's nice and open. If you want to make your way, just let me know when you're close and I'll pull out. Copy that, no problem. Oh, this is so incredible. It really, really doesn't get better than this. They are making a noise. They are making their little cub calls very, very faintly. I just heard one now. Oh! <laughs> Poor mom. Isn't she so incredibly patient with them? <laughs> Those teeth are sharp. <laughs> Lisa, while we watch them, you wanted to know what their chances of survival are, which is, of course, the question on everybody's mind. It's... Oh, 
battering each other. This is where it does actually become important in terms of the sex ratio and whether they're males or females. Because around up sort of their first year, the cubs' chances whether they're males or females are exactly the same. And depending on the area, the other lion concentration, on a number of circumstances, you're probably looking at an average of about 40 to 50 percent mortality. After that, after about a year old, if the cub is a male, things change dramatically because of course then at some point in the next year and a half of their life they're going to have to go off on their own. So between two and a half and three years old they leave the safety of the pride and a young male is much at much higher risk than a female. <laughs> I've got my tongue back. The bush is full of toys if you know where to look. This is so cool. <laughs> the sage, they couldn't be more cat like if they tried. That's so awesome. Now we've got a hope that in terms of the survival chances of these cubs if the Birmingham boys stay in power then their chances of survival are much much higher than they would be if another male takes over. Oh shame, leave your poor mom's cheek alone. No wonder she was desperate for a break the other day. Just constant nipping teeth and scratching claws. Of course, that does then beg the question, do lion moms leave their cubs alone for more or less time than leopard, leopards leave their cubs? Safari Dean, um, lionesses probably leave their cubs for slightly less time, but I don't think there's, there's a huge amount of difference. <laughs> Pounce. face. <laughs> you, see what, you see what we mean about lion cubs playing? It's just constant. Unless they are sleeping or feeding, there's this sort of a constant little lion cub puddle. Nipping teeth and waving paws and any positively any movement is pounced upon <laughs> you know I think James might be right I think lion cubs might actually be the cutest thing cutest baby animal no I'm only saying that because I'm watching them Oh, but they really are just so tiny. Ah, there we go. I've got my dung ball. I've hunted a dung ball. And I've caught it. Oh, but actually, whatever my siblings might be doing, might, maybe not. Maybe not more interesting. Grr. I'm a fearsome predator. And I'm not to be messed with. Oh, I've got mom's tail. One's got a pile of elephant dung, the other one's got mom's tail. <laughs> now, of course, you can't really see exactly how big these cubs are. And Margaret in Kansas, with pleasure, I can give you a size approximation, although she's doing it beautifully. Oopsie! for you. Where's mom going guys? Are you going with her? I wonder where she's off to. I think she's probably just gonna lie down 
but we're not, obviously not going to try and follow her. Definitely not going to be bashing through. This is such a perfect cub spot. Look how beautiful it is. So many sandy places and crevices.